All right, guys, in this video, I'm gonna to explain to you three reasons why online personal trainers fail to sign high paying clients. Most of the time when I'm talking to an online fitness coach who's struggling to make sales or gain new high paying clients, it's not because they're not trying, it's because they're making one of these three critical mistakes. Number one, coaching on a sales call. If you're a coach who really wants to help people, you may be unknowingly killing the sale when on the phone with a prospect by coaching too much on the call. Although I'm sure you wanna help as much as possible, people are more likely to become a client when they feel like you understand their problems and they understand how your coaching can help them solve their problems. If you try to fix all their problems right then and there on the sales call, you may be psychologically relieving the pain initially. So at the end of the call, instead of signing up with you, they say, hey, thanks, I feel better now, I'm good. Um, if you have a lot of people saying they want to think about it or they're really interested but not buying from you, this may be happening. One of the things I teach my clients is how to lead their potential clients to the end of the call with you, feeling understood and grateful they found you so they have absolute clarity on why what they've tried hasn't worked and how your process is different. So then they have a true intrinsic pull to sign up with you because it actually makes sense. That's why you need to create a high ticket offer that actually solves the right problem for the right person. Number two, promoting low prices or deals. The truth is, high paying clients don't want a deal. Can you imagine someone walking in to buy a Lamborghini and asking for a 50% off discount or to pay just 30K? No, people who want to buy a Lamborghini want luxury and they're willing to pay top dollar for it. In the same way, attracting high paying clients starts with posting the right content. Your content should communicate your value over communicating low prices or a deal. Your content should be focused on your expertise and the irresistible offer of your program so that you only attract clients who are looking for a quality solution and a coach they can trust over anything else. Number three, posting your prices online. This is one of the biggest mistakes that I see because there are a lot of trainers and coaches who have a beautiful website that they poured their heart and soul into. Packages they've worked so hard to piece together and something that should never be posted publicly are their prices. Giving your price away makes you miss out on a huge piece of selling high ticket, which is the ability to connect with your potential client and really dive deep into why they actually need fitness or health coaching in the first place. By leading your potential client to a call, you have the opportunity to help them uncover the real meaning of fitness coaching. So instead of the interest ending when they see your price, which often turns them away before they even talk to you, they're led to a conversation where they can share their story. It's a lot easier to sell high ticket when you have people talking about things like being around their grandkids, improving their intimacy in their marriage, or optimizing their performance at work. You can't even get to those types of conversations when you tell them the price right there on your website. Now, obviously, these types of conversations take practice, which is why I focus heavily on mastering psychology in my program, but the truth is you want to be able to connect deeply first so that you can see if they're the right person for you, and also they can see if your process makes sense for them. So I hope this has been helpful for you guys. If you want to hop on a call to see where you might be going wrong with your online fitness business, shoot me a DM saying new way, and I will be happy to share the details. Hope you guys found this helpful, and I will talk to you soon.